Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to use the OBJ to PBT converter uh, created for Core by myself and a few others. So let's, I guess, get right into it. So here you can see I have my object. I've gone ahead and split up the model based on textures. So this green texture here is separated from here in the hierarchy on the right side. The eyes are separate from everything else. Anything that you want to have a different texture should be a separate object over here. Great. So now something you want to make sure of um, is that your uh, model is triangulated. The process for all this stuff might be different in other modeling programs, but this is the way it works in Cinema 4D. So we're going to select all of our objects. We're going to go Mesh, Commands, and Triangulate. As you can see, every polygon is now a triangle. If you don't do this, the program will not work. All right, so once we have that, we're going to do File, Export, OBJ. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this snake, save. And for the, for the settings, you want it to be just like this. Again, I'm not sure how other modeling programs look, but this is how it looks in Cinema 4D. Make sure your normals are off, material, no material. Um, export objects as groups. Ensure that you have this checked. Otherwise, um, all your polygons will be in one core folder once you import the object. If you have this checked, Every object here in the hierarchy will be in a separate folder when you import it into core, so you can texture um, all the polygons more easily. So now we have um, scale here. I found 0.1 centimeters to work for most items, but if you select a number that's too large and you scale your object down too much, in the core editor you'll start having problems, which I will showcase in a little bit. You can mess around with this number, make it larger or smaller based on the size of your item, but again, 0.1 seems to work well for most things. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, now over to our folder. I exported the object to the same folder that my program is in, but you can have it anywhere, obviously. So double click and run. So now you're going to have this small window here. It says select triangulated OBJ file. We're going to go ahead and hit select. And I'm going to select snake which I just created. Hit open. You can see the green bar filling up, wraps up, and here's our snake.pbt. I should mention that you want to be as um, mindful as possible when using polygons because every every polygon here is going to equate to two objects in the core editor which has a max of 30,000 so yeah just like most game development you want to be mindful about how many polygons you're using. I would say this model actually has quite a lot of polygons for what it is, but just for examples purposes, you know, yeah. Also, the program might say wrapping up for a bit. Uh, don't close it out. It's still doing stuff in the background. So now we're going to take our snake.pbt and we're going to copy it. Now over to the core editor, start project. We're going to call it snake because why not? Create. As you can see in my templates folder, we have nothing here. Um, so that's fine. Go ahead and close out the editor. Now you want to go to the folder where your map is saved. If you want a, an easy way to do it, you can right click the project here, or I guess click on the three dots here and click show and explorer. What we want to do is data and right click new folder and call it templates. It's if you already have templates saved in your map, this folder will already exist. So we're going to go ahead and paste the PBT in there. Now when we go back to core and hit play, or sorry, edit, we'll see we have snake here. Drag it in. And here is our, here's our object. Now as we can see, every single polygon is made up of like a separate object in core. So that's why, why you want to be super mindful of how you're building your objects. All right, so here in the right, as you can see, this is expanded quite a bit actually. So we have these separate individual folders with each one containing the items that we separated in the hierarchy. So here we have the crown, the eyes, the tongue, the top of the snake, and the bottom of the snake. So what you're gonna do is go into these folders one by one, select all the wedges. Uh, then we can come over here to materials, and let's choose like a gold. Let's use this one. Sure, we're going to right click new custom material and drag it onto one of the triangles and it'll apply to all of them. 
Now, if you want, you can go into the custom material. This is a great way to very easily modify the color. So that's like a purple crown. I'm going to keep it gold for now. But yeah, so to get around having to reselect all these objects every time you want to change the texture, all we have to do is just select this single material. We can change it from gold to, let's say, this basic metal and change the color to yellow. Perfect. So let's go over the eyes. Select all the polygons here. The material, let's do car paint. Why not? New custom material. We're going to drag and drop it, select it, and color it black for eyes. Okay. Cool. This is the tongue. So we're going to select all of our meshes in there. For the tongue, we're going to use cardboard basic new custom material drag it on let's edit the color sweet this is the i believe the top half of the snake this one actually has a lot of polygons in it so any processes might take a while so i know there's like a scales texture here new custom material drag it on now it might take a few minutes depending on how many polygons here we have quite a few objects selected so yeah it's going to take a bit There we go, perfect. And now we're gonna do for the bottom, let's use this apple texture actually. We're gonna go ahead and select all of these and apply the apple material. And we'll change the color of that to like a tan. Perfect. So now you can go ahead and play And our object is now in core. So now about the whole scaling thing I was talking about before. Every wedge in the in the shape has a, a scale of 0 0.002. If I take this scale and make it 0 0.001 or less, you'll see you'll start having issues with the texture showing up. So as you can imagine, if you select the entire object and scale the polygon down so much, it has a good amount of leeway. But if you scale it down so much, eventually the polygons will not uh, display textures. So if you want it to be this small, um, you're just going to have to export with a smaller number. Instead of 0.1, you can use, let's say, 0.05 centimeters and it'll import when you import it it'll be smaller to begin with so that's how you can circumvent that issue anyways i hope you guys all enjoy using this program if you're watching this on youtube a link can be found in the description if you're on the website welcome and thank you for checking out the program i'm excited to see what you all can make with this and i hope you have a great day